her shocking account of what she went through on social media took the social media by storm um, last night and I have a very very brave and strong voice in front of me um, you know that post was you know I think everybody was shocked and horrified with it um, did you look at the comments and you know how did you sort of think that now was the time probably that you know you should tell your story again uh, okay so basically what's been happening with all this me too movement that's taken off and I think you guys have been following with so much zeal has been very enabling yeah. and give, providing a very enabling environment and uh, for someone who is living with something uh, it was something that uh, you know the movement has been giving me a push mm. so it was constant in my mind that I you know I should come out mm. also the fact that uh, I had tried to come out many years ago I think it was around 2003, 4, maybe 2005 when I was making and releasing my film White Noise in Times of India had been published, a print, an interview was done and L'Officiel, I wrote a whole piece in which I came out with this truth and it just came and it went without a, uh, you know, nobody even noticed it. Everybody read it but nobody, everybody decided not to notice it. And uh, subsequently I had also been marked as someone who's uh, going to be troublesome. So I also stopped getting work. However, uh, when this whole th movement started again recently, I was very moved. I was very, very um, uh, excited, you know. And then when it moved to India, it became even more exciting for me because I was constantly living with this hope that one day I will be able to say what I want to say. And uh, I will get the support that I need. I have already said what I wanted to say. I never got support, but now I will. Uh, so yesterday, what really happened, day before yesterday when you know, the, it was peaking and uh, I was watching TV and I was sitting with my mother, which I normally do when I'm watching TV. I just told her, Mom, I want to come out. So she said, forget it, you're in your 50s, now it's gone. Punani baat ho gai, chodo isko. So to me, it was like, kyu? So she said, anyway, if you want to go through it, at least we don't. So please refrain. So I let it pass. The next morning, I put up this conversation that I had with my mother on my Facebook uh, page as a post. And I got a lot of encouragement. A lot. I had almost like said that I want to speak something, but my mother's telling me that this is not the right thing to do. So I, when I gathered that support and all the friends and, you know, um, acquaintances said that, no, you must speak up, you must speak up. I was... Uh, very encouraged and then in the evening when I went home after work as usual I was watching TV again with her mm. and uh, there was uh, of course the Tanushri thing going on plus there was all those uh, uh, the AIB stories that were flowing out and then there was uh, Sushant Singh who came up and he spoke about how Sinta was uh, going to support Tanushri mm. and that really is what triggered me into like immediately going Tuck, 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 tuck on my phone keyboard and putting the story out. What you see is totally written at one shot, unedited, posted. And I was like, I have to do it. And then when I posted it, I told my mom I've done it. She said, anyway, now we have to live with it. So uh, once it was up there, immediately what came was uh, lots of response from my closest of friends. Some who were like shocked, some who knew what had happened and they said, I'm so glad you've come out. Some who, uh, like for instance, I had written about how I was working at Plus Channel. So Mr. Amit Khanna came out and said, I wish you had told us at that time. And I said, yeah, I wish I could have, you know, at that time when I was working with you. But I wasn't in any emotional state to do it. All I said to you was that I don't want to work with this guy. And therefore, I don't, I don't want to be a director on the sets. I'm conti I'll continue to write the series. So first it was all of that and then suddenly like I think we stepped out, uh, stepped to our living room for dinner and then by the time I came back to my room and looked at my phone, it had just shot through the roof and uh, when I went to my Twitter account, I've never seen more than about 10 or 12 retweet, retweets at a time, there were 300 and 400 re retweets, you know. And uh, my first instant was like, how did it go to Twitter? Then I saw somebody had uh, shared the link of Facebook onto Twitter. And meanwhile, my Facebook likes were just increasing. The shares just kept going on. Every time I looked, another 20. Another time I looked, another 30. So it was like, oh my God, what's happening? And uh, then, of course, many of my friends called me. And they were like, uh, we are really proud of you. We're really 
thrilled that you've done what you have done. It was like gut wrenching. It's, it's very painful to read what you have done. But fr frankly, for me, it was like it was that final shriek before pain ends. I was over it. So I didn't I didn't name anybody. And it was just a matter of like saying sanskari and my friends and my relatives and everyone knew what I was talking about. My family knew who I was talking about. So I had not imagined that I was talking to an audience broader than my Facebook page, uh, Facebook uh, mm. uh, bandwidth. Yeah. Yeah. So I left it at that. But then a couple of people who stepped into the comment section started asking like, why don't you name him? Why don't you name him? At which time I said, this is Aloknath. Mm. And everyone anyway knew, but mm. they wanted the name out. Everyone knew yeah. what it was. Yeah. So I had no qualms about taking his name, but I don't greatly enjoy taking his name either. Absolutely. You know? Like understanding so, yeah. Planet Bollywood News, Monday to Friday at 7 pm, only on Zoom.